Come with me for day two of Crime Camp and Adult Sleepaway Camp for true crime lovers. We headed back into the woods to the University of Florida's hidden campus and immediately started a lab on blood stain patterns. The blood might be fake, but the fun I had playing with it was very real. And naturally, our blood stain expert had to have a travel mug to match. And we got a demonstration on how crime scene investigators make traces of blood at a crime scene glow. We all got a chance to swab a carpet to see if we could find a hidden blood stain through a chemical reaction. Not everyone was successful, but mine ended up turning pink, which meant that I found the blood. Let me tell you, this day was non-stop because immediately after we jumped into doing blood spatter analysis, this sort of thing requires a certain level of math and physics that suddenly had me very grateful we were doing this as a group project. Eventually, we were able to find the blood spatter's point of origin, took a quick break for lunch, and immediately headed into a lecture about shooting reconstruction where we learned about all the things that gun residue can do. We also learned about the fracture patterns that bullets can leave when they're shot through glass and how to read them to see which bullet came first. Afterwards, we had a really cool demonstration on how crime scene investigators can use lasers to reconstruct bullets' travel paths. Then we got a chance to try it for ourselves. Well, with strings, not lasers. And I might have gotten a little too into it because I almost missed the bus on the way back. That's all for day two. Stay tuned for day three.